Hello, I'm Madison. I'm Frankie. I'm Natalie. I'm Ariadna. And we're covering work-life balance, and we're group number six. Work-life balance is being capable of finding a balance between work life and personal life. With this, you can you can maintain, if not improve, your happiness, well well being, both physically and mentally. However, every individual is different, meaning their way of achieving said balance may vary. An example of good work-life balance would be minimizing the stresses, working the necessary, and knowing when to remove yourself from work. A bad example of, of work-life balance would be over-prioritizing work, resulting to working too much, leaving little to no time to recharge. Achieving a work-life balance can improve many aspects of your life. Having satisfaction with the time you dedicate to work and your personal life will create a healthy balance between these two. With this balance, individuals are likelier to experience less work-related stress, maintaining physical and mental health, as well as being present in the moment. It is important to manage negative emotions or thoughts so you can make clear decisions. As well as physical health, you should be able to eat healthy, have a good night rest, and exercise regularly in order to get your body the energy and support needed, as well as the being present in the moment. You want to be focused on what is in front of you rather than having work on your mind, even when you're not at work, as well as being the work-related stress, you should be able to take control over the workload and responsibilities efficiently. Have you ever woken up from a dream in a sweat, stressed out about the dream that you just had? I don't know about you, but I've had many bad dreams where I've woken up dreaming about work, where I'm yelling at the kids that I'm teaching how to coach to swim back and forth, worry that they're going to drown. In the back of my head, I know like I'm in bed, but in my head, I just feel, like see them swimming. So in my... um source there's a doctor he said that you need to be able to build a life centered on a belief of self-worth and not the same as net worth so who i am is not identified by what i do for a job i am not all about my job i am madison i like to volunteer i like to do all these other things kind of going back to why who we are what you asked like who we are in the beginning of this class um so basically like find stuff outside Play rec basketball if you want to. Go rock climbing, line dancing, volunteer in the community or church. Anything that gives you meaning and purpose that's besides the work. How to improve and develop these skills of work-life balance. You're going to start off with self-awareness and an assessment. You're going to determine the categories that you are being pulled into the most and that you prioritize the most? Where do you want to spend your time? What's important to you? Number two is time management. Of those categories, you're going to determine what is the amount of time that is needed to be successful in each of those categories. Those categories can include work, school, family. Number three, set boundaries and prioritize self-care. You are going to prevent any distractions from getting in the way of those categories that you've determined are important for you. And you're going to prioritize self-care. You're going to do things that make you feel good about yourself. Number four, you're going to seek support and use available resources when you're at school. If there is a task that you're not strong at, it hurts you no bit at all to ask somebody that is strong to help you. Number five, improve your skills. If you are going into a workforce and there are certain tasks that are going to be required of you and you want to be able to spend the most amount of time outside of your work responsibilities, it is in your best interest to improve those skills so that you'll spend less time doing those tasks. Number six, minimize stress. Any and every stressor that is unnecessary to your life that is in your control, eliminate it. Number seven, we're going to reiterate number four. Seek help when needed. You can never, it's no weakness to ask for help. Nicely said, Frankie. 
Um, so Thank here's you. our sources, um, one for each um, point that we covered. And thank y'all so much for listening to our presentation.